Hi lads, this is a short video explaining how to do the structural forms question from the 2019 Ordinary Level paper. It tells us the image on the right shows a wooden watch face. The top surface of the watch face is a hyperbolic paraboloid and the watch face is a square in plan. Part A is draw the given plan and elevation of the hyperbolic paraboloid surface of the watch. So basically these two views here. And then part C, project an end view of this hyperbolic paraboloid surface. So basically what we see when we look in this direction here. So to start off the question, we draw out the elevation and plan using the measurements provided. So I'm going to start off with the plan first, and it's set at 60 degrees. So 60 degrees going this way, 30 degrees going this way, and we're told that the length of the two sides of the square is going to be 100. Use my compass and set me measuring 100 again and mark that off there. Use my 60 there just to close off the plan. And I can draw my outline in heavy here, and after that, I'm going to label my sides so I don't get mixed up when taking my heights across. So I just label my corners then. I have A, B, C, and D. And then from the question, we can see that it's divided into one, two, three, four, five equal parts. So I divide each of my sides into five equal parts as well to get all of my elements. So you can just measure your 20s because the 100 divided by 5 will give me 20 millimetres and I can just take them up and then do the same on the other side here And take these elements up. The last thing I'll do now before I complete my elevation, I'm going to label my elements. So, for example, I can go here A, B, C, D. Let's say opposite D, C, B, A. And then just go 1, 2, 3, and 4 and then one, two, three, and four. So when I'm actually taking my points up and across, it'll make it easier to track which one I'm trying to draw. Instead of just having a load of random points taken up and across. After I'm just gonna draw my X, Y line, and take my four corners up. I can see that B and D are at 40. So B and D are both at 40 mil up. And then C and A are at ground level. So A connects to B. B connects to C. There's going to be hidden detail here, so I'm going to draw in lightly for now. C will connect to D. And finally, D will connect back to A. So between B and C, it's actually been blocked. You can only see heavy to there. And that surface being blocked the rest of the way. Now all it's a matter of doing is actually taking up my elements and connecting them together in my actual elevation. 
So for example, I'm going to start with ABCD on the surface BC. So I take D up and it hits BC there. And label that as D. I can take C up, label that as C, B up to there, and finally A up to there. So A will connect to A out here. So on the line AD, A is going to be there. B is going to hit the line there. C will hit it there. And then D will hit the line there. And all I to do now is actually connect the elements together. So D connects to D there. C connects to C. B connects to B. And then A connect to A there. And now I repeat the process with 4, 3, 2 and 1. So I look at line DC there. There's DC there, and I take 4, 3, 2, and 1 up. So 4 up is going to be there. 3, 2, and 1. And the corresponding points on the line AB. You have 1, 2, Three and four. We just repeat the process again. Four will connect to four here. Three connects to three there. Two connects to two there. And finally one will connect to one there. And that's my elevation complete. And you can start to see just by connecting the elements a curve is starting to form there naturally. So for my end view, I just take all my points up to 45 degrees from my plan and then take my points across from my elevation. So I'll just draw a straight line down there. And I'll take my points across. So B will come across to there. C already touches the line. A comes across there. And D comes across there. And they all go up at 45 degrees then. And we take our heights across as well. So D and B are on the same height line. So I follow B across. It's up here. There's B. C is on the ground already. A is on the ground as well. And then D. Is up 40 as well. And just repeat the process. A will be connecting to B. B connects to C. C connects to D. And then D connects to A. My draw them all in lightly just for now. So from looking at the actual view, I can see along the line DC that the A surface is going to cover it. So I can draw this in dashed here. Heavy the rest of the way and all the air lines are heavy. So just by looking in this side, I can actually see that CD is being blocked here by surfaces AD, AB, for example. That's why that is in dotted there. And I can draw these two lines in heavy as a result. After that, the process is the exact same as before, taking across all my elements and then connecting them together again to produce a curve in the actual end view as a result. So I'll start with ABCD again here. So along the surface BC, I'll just 
just take my four points across here. Take them up at 45 degrees. So I'm looking at BC. I just mark them A, B, C, D. And they're corresponding are on AD. So I take them across here. And take these up at 45 degrees. And they're on the line AD. Take them up to hit the line AD. And label them once again. So A is there, and you have B, C, and D. And then we connect them together. So D connects to D there, C connects to C here, B connects to B, and finally A connects to A. So you can start to see the curved surface has been produced now. Now repeat the process now again for the line AB and the line CD, points 1, 2, 3 and 4. So I'm just going to dot them. The end is just getting really messy on my page with all the lines I'm taking across. So I'm just going to dot where they are. So remember to take up the right lines. And one is there. So I'm going from the line AB. That comes up to the line AB there, and I have four. Three is there. Take three up. Hits it here. Follow two. Over and up. And finally, one was there. And one comes up to hit one there. So that's one, two, three, four on the line AB. Now the line CD. Dot that there so I know which one I'm taking up. So I'm looking at the line CD. That's point four there. Take three up. That's three there. Follow two up. And finally, follow one up. And one is there. And once again, just repeat the process, connecting the points together. So I'm connecting the line CD to line AB. Along CD there. So one connects to one here. Two connects to two here. Three connects to three there. And finally, four connects to four there. And the last thing you can then do is just finish off the question. You can actually just draw the actual way the curve would actually appear in heavy, just connecting where the elements actually are. So there are my elevation. And just nice and freehand curve, just touching off the elements. To close it off there. I'll just take two lines across here and I'm going to write in my elevation plan and end view into these spots. And that's the question complete.